Vasco Street Maps 5 is unbeatable when it comes to personalized maps and I would like to show you an example of its capabilities. And I've started Vasco Street Maps freshly so I have an empty project and the first thing we will do is to check the map display settings. These settings we can reach with this button here, map display settings and in our first visit of this dialog we will pay attention only to the definition of the map sites. The dimensions of the map are displayed here in pixels so we have a width of 3840 by 2160. This is the classic 4K format double full HD. Now I accept this with OK and now we have to select an area which we would like to show in our map. In this example I would like to show a map section of the town of Innsbruck in Austria and to get to there I will use the GPS database using this button here on the lower left corner and now I can search for the town of Innsbruck and I'll find it here Innsbruck in the region of Tyrol in Austria. I accept with OK. Now Vasco Street Maps has zoomed in directly to the town of Innsbruck but for my example this is too close so I would like to zoom out a little bit more and I use here the magnifying glass with a minus sign and now clicking once zooming out again and a third time and now we see here on the top Garmisch-Partenkirchen and here Innsbruck. This is a little bit too far away so I use this button to shift the map area. Now I can move it with the mouse and now I will use this function to select the map area with the mouse. So I would like to show Garmisch-Partenkirchen as well as Innsbruck and I will draw a rectangle more or less of this sides and now I can move the map a little bit more so we get a little bit more to the center. So now that we have selected the map area that we would like to show our map looks still a little bit boring because we are looking only at the preview. So now let's switch to full screen and now Vasco Street Maps calculates the map using the map display settings which are in progress at this time. Now after the calculation our map looks quite different and you see here on the top the town of Garmisch-Partenkirchen and now we have scroll bars on the right and on the bottom and now we can move, we can scroll our map down and to the right to move the town of Innsbruck into the screen and now you can see that Vasco Street Maps displays a lot of information starting with the identifiers of the different categories of streets, the different boroughs of Innsbruck and the mountain peaks with their altitude and so on. Sometimes lots of information is exactly what we need for the map we would like to create but sometimes it's too much. So the amount of information that we would like to show on the map depends on what we would like to use our map for. And this is the right moment to go back to the map display settings and directly below the definition of the map sites we find the basic settings of the map. And the first parameter is the background which by default is set to monochrome but we can change to colored heights or one of the four different submaps. In this example I will switch to colored heights. That means Vasco Street Maps colors the map background depending on the altitude of the terrain. And there is a button on the right to make further adjustments and here we can see the color scheme and we have here the different altitudes and the colors assigned to the different altitude levels. 
so you can see this goes up to 8000 meters and in the upper regions the color is white to simulate the snow. I will leave the color scheme unchanged and the second parameter is the elevation relief. This one we can turn on and we have a button for further adjustments as well. Here we can adjust the intensity which by default is set to 30%. I will leave this unchanged as well. And the third parameter is for transparent areas. This parameter is very useful if you would like to show a map of an island so you can make the water surrounding it transparent and so you can later on place this map on top of another map. Country and federal borders we don't need in this example and they are turned off by default. And now we come to the further map settings. These six buttons will lead us to many other parameters and let's have a look at the road and rail network. I will go to change settings and now you can see that we have five different types of streets the motorways, the trunk roads, the federal roads, residential roads and living streets. And for every type we can choose the visibility between automatic, always on or always off. Automatic means that if we zoom in close enough this type of street will be visible or if we zoom out far enough it won't be visible. And of course we can make further adjustments with this button to the right and here we can set the label settings, the rendering of the line, so here we can choose the color of the type of street and options for additional outlines and so on. I will leave it unchanged and this system applies for every one of those parameters. The next one is the shadow and glow effects for bridges. This is by default on and we will leave it because we would like to have this type of three-dimensional effect. And then the other networks, railroad, trams, ship routes, footways, cycleways and so on. Here you get an idea of how many different informations Vasco Streetmaps has in its database. As you can see all of these parameters are set to automatic that means by default Vasco Streetmaps displays this whole lot of information but in some situations it may happen that this is too much so now you know where and how you can deactivate some of the information types. I will leave all these parameters unchanged by now and the same system applies to the toponyms and the symbols and so on. Let's have a look at another exciting area of parameters nature. And as you can see in this list Vasco Street Maps knows land, ocean and waters, forest, woods, green fields, farms, brown fields and so on. And for every type of nature you can turn the visibility on or off with this check mark and you can select the color. And if we choose for example the parameter wood then we can select a the color for displaying wood areas or I will cancel it. I can use the adjust button to set shadow settings or glow settings. This doesn't make much sense in the case of wood but here we can set a pattern, a texture. We can turn it on and now we can select forest 1 as texture for every part of the map that displays wood. And if you have a look at the green spaces you can see that Vasco Street Maps knows about sport pitches, sport centers, golf courses, parks, graveyards, allotments, vineyards, picnic areas, playgrounds, even zoos. This is a huge amount of information that Vasco Street Maps has in its database. So I will accept it with OK and now the last setting on at the bottom show more details at lower resolution. So this one we can turn on as well and now I accept the whole map display settings with OK and Vasco Street Maps starts to recalculate 
our full screen map. Now our map looks quite different and I will move the selection here, the scroll bars, a little bit to the top. And now you can see very well the mixture between the colored heights, the elevation relief and the traditional road maps. And if you change several of these parameters it may be hard for you to keep track of what you have changed. Vasco Street Maps has a system that lets us save the actual parameters to a file. We have two buttons here. We can save the color scheme with this button and of course if we can save it we have a second button to load a color scheme and use this saved color scheme again with other map sections so that they have the same style. Vasco Street Maps not only allows us to save or load a color scheme, it brings us by default several pre-saved color schemes. So I will use load color scheme. Now we get the warning that loading a new preset causes the loss of the current preset. I will accept it with a yes. And now I'm in the dialog where I can choose between many different presets and I will use here at the bottom relief maps. And now since we have changed the parameters the map will be recalculated. We will skip this process. Again our map looks quite different right now and I will scroll down a little bit And now we can see here very nicely the mountains and the different types of textures here for the grass zones and for the forest and woods. And of course we can make further adjustments right now changing every single parameter. So loading a preset can be a good starting point to create your own preset. If you have finished your map or you have to take a pause, then this is the moment to save the current project. You can do it with this button and save it. You can see I've done it already. So later on you can load the project and keep on working on it. And when your map is finished, then it's time to save the current map. You can do this using this button, Save Current Map, and again I will name it Garmisch Innsbruck and click the Save button. Again, as you can see, I've done it already to save time. And this is the moment to have a look at the main settings of Vasco Street Maps. We can reach them with this button here on the lower right. And here we can select the image format for those maps and we can choose between the standard formats BMP, PNG, JPEG and the TIFF format, especially a GeoTIFF. And this is the default selection and in this image format Vasco Street Maps not only saves the map in the TIFF file but as additional information the geographic coordinates of the map. So now let's have a look what files Vasco Street Maps has created. In my folder I have the project file Garmisch Innsbruck, then the TIFF file which contains the map. I can open it with a double click and can use this file just like any other image. I can zoom in and so on. I have created another map with the area of Munich on the top left and Schladming in Austria on the lower right corner. Let's make it a little bit bigger and now I can zoom in here and now we can follow the valley. Here we have Schladming and you can see this is a wonderful three-dimensional map just a different look with different display settings, but it looks quite nice. And there is an additional file that Vasco Street Maps creates when it saves a map. This XML file, 
it's very small and contains only the geo coordinates, the longitude and latitude. So the geo coordinates are really saved in two locations. First, directly in the TIFF file as additional information and separately in this XML file. Because when you open the TIFF file after saving with an image editing program and save it again, many times the geo coordinate information will get lost. And if you would like your map created in Vasco Street Maps in Vasco da Gama, the root animation program, then Vasco da Gama first looks in the TIFF file for geo coordinates and if it can't find them, it looks for the XML file. So this way Vasco da Gama has always the possibility to find the correct geo coordinates of the map. And finally I will show you how to import this map in Vasco da Gama. I have started Vasco da Gama and I will accept the project settings with the default values and I'll go directly to the map settings and here we can import a new map. And here I will select my Garmisch Innsbruck map, click open, path and file names and select the cache directory. I'll leave everything in default locations and even the map name for the selection list is OK. So I will accept with OK and now Vasco da Gama informs me that the file contains geographical coordinates and if I accept with yes it'll, it will use it. That means Vasco da Gama can place our map on the correct position on the globe. And now the map is created this takes a moment and now our new map is ready to use but I have to activate it, I have to turn it on first so I will use here select map 1 and choose my Garmisch Innsbruck map and accept with OK. Now you still can't see it because our map is really small and again I will use the GPS database to set the position to a place on the map. I will search for Innsbruck again, accept with OK and now the town of Innsbruck, the coordinates are exactly centered on screen and now I will zoom in and here we can see already our rectangle, our map. And now we can zoom in and use our map directly in Vasco da Gama and place our routes on top. And finally you can see Vasco Street Maps not only is the perfect program for creating maps f of all kinds, but it's as well the perfect companion for the root animation program Vasco da Gama to create even more realistic root animations. Mm -hmm.